Hello everybody, and welcome to another quick Dwarf Fortress tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be talking about cave adaptation. This is something that was sneakily re-added to the game in the last patch. If you missed it, and are suddenly noticing that your dwarves are puking when they go outside, well, congratulations, you didn't miss it. You've seen it in action. So in this tutorial, I'm going to give you a couple different options and a few different ideas on how to deal with cave adaptation. I'm also going to talk about exactly what kind of problems it can cause and what to try to avoid. Let's dive in. So first off, what exactly is cave adaptation? Cave adaptation is a mechanic within Dwarf Fortress that causes your dwarves to puke when they see the sun, if they haven't seen the sun in some time. Initially, when dwarves arrive in your fortress as part of migrants, they are completely fine with the sun. However, if they move into a mostly underground fortress and then don't go above ground for quite some time, they develop cave adaptation. This process usually takes a couple of months. It can be spotted within dwarves when you look at their description. At the bottom it says, doesn't mind being outdoors, at least for a time. Once this line of text disappears, they're likely cave adapted. The main symptoms of cave adaptations are dizziness and nausea. Dizziness affects balance and the dwarves' ability to move at a high speed, and nausea affects their move speed and causes them to throw up. It also causes a negative mood as they are throwing up due to seeing the sun, and it's unpleasant. And while this is kind of amusing for your peasants and can generally be compensated for mood-wise, it's really detrimental for soldiers, as soldiers who go running into combat while cave adapted, are likely to immediately be slaughtered due to their inability to move at a high speed, dodge, and get out of the way of incoming attacks. So how can we combat this? Well, you have a few options. You can try and deal with it by building skylights. Skylights are actually quite easy to build in Dwarf Fortress. If you are building near to the surface, all you need to do is expose the floor of your fortress to light and then remove the source of light that it was exposed to. Essentially, build a skylight, dig a hole through the ceiling into your fortress, and then build flooring over top of it. You'll see people using glass, but glass isn't necessary. As long as there is a high-trafficked area, or several high-trafficked areas, in your fortress that had access to sun at some point in time, they will continue having access to sun and help combat cave adaptation. The second is incorporate outdoor areas into your fortress similar to what I've done here with this volcano. This area was originally a open volcano, and I poured water on top of it to create obsidian. I've now put a library and my military barracks in here, so when my dwarves are walking around in this area, they're combating cave adaptation. This prevents a large portion of the fortress from throwing up in other areas of the fortress. Because it has a constructed roof over top of it, dwarves are getting that very microscopic amount of sun radiation that they need to stop the dwarven motion sickness from kicking in. The next option is to just accept cave adaptation. Build burrows. If you burrow the majority of your fortress underground and then make your military areas closer to the surface where you could build skylights, you could burrow more or less your entire faction. Because we can make burrows with multiple layers at a time, it's actually not that difficult to simply burrow your fortress. But do keep in mind, if you would like to add a dwarf to the military, it's going to be a bit of a traumatic experience for them. So you might want to keep some of your dwarves av avoiding cave adaptation, even if a large portion of the fortress is staying permanently underground. And then, of course, the final option is to simply throw caution to the wind. Don't burrow anybody, let children play indoors their entire life, and do not worry about the mountains of vomit in front of your front door. What could possibly go wrong? It's just vomit, after all. If you've been playing Dwarf Fortress for a while and have any tips on cave adaptation, please, I'd love to hear them. Leave them down in the comments section below this video. I will be getting back to adventure mode tutorials soon enough. I just figured that this one was an important one to get out while I'm here. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care of yourselves. Say something nice to somebody. And remember, when you vomit, at the very least clean up after yourself. And until next time, I do hope to see you in the next one.